Hey, Mama Selena for African Daisy, and it is Wednesday in the Word. <laughs> so, as you can see, my background is a little different. So, we're out and about today, but I wanted to bring you the Word of God today. So, um, one of the things that has been going through my mind recently is sometimes we go through things and the importance of praising God through the storm. So, anyway, let's read Psalms 91. Let's start there. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, and my God in whom I trust with great confidence and whom I rely. For he will save you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you and completely protect you with his pinions. And under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction, sudden death, that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right side, at your right hand, but danger will not come near you. You will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes, and witness the divine repayment of and witness the divine repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Because you have made the Lord, who is my, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he set his love on me, therefore I will save him. I will set him secure on high because he knows my name. He confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him. No, never. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will rescue him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and I will let him see my salvation. Okay, and then we're going to go to Psalms 100. Okay, and it says, shout joyfully to the Lord. All the earth, serve the Lord with gladness and delight. Come before his presence with joyful singing. Know and fully recognize with gratitude that the Lord himself is God. It is he who has made us, not we ourselves, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with song of thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Be thankful to him, bless and praise his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy and loving kindness are everlasting. His faithfulness endures to all generations. So regardless of what we're going through, God is one who will always protect us as we serve him and follow him. And just the importance of coming joyfully to him shouting his praise and sometimes like we've talked about before is we have to remember what God has done and even if we can't you know think up things that he's done for us which um God has done so many things but even if we can't we can look back in the scriptures and see what God has done and so I just want to encourage us to praise his name to enter his courts with thanksgiving be grateful regardless of our circumstances. Dig into God's word. I love you all and I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.